Are you a contractor that's worried about marketing metrics like cost per click, click-through rates, and cost per thousand impressions? Stick around for today's Marketing Minutes episode to learn why those don't really matter. Hey, my name is Ben, and in today's episode of Marketing Minutes, I'm going to teach you four reasons why metrics like cost per click, CPM, CTRs, all of these metrics can be misleading, okay? And as a business owner, you don't always have to pay attention to these metrics. There are other metrics that you should be paying attention to that will have a much greater impact on your bottom line. Now, the first reason why these marketing metrics can be somewhat misleading is because as a contractor, you're going after a local market with your online advertising, right? So things like CPM, CPCs, they're going to be a bit higher because you're going after a small audience, right? You're, you're limited to a certain amount of zip codes. You're targeting people over 30 years old because you're going after homeowners. So right away, your target audience when you're marketing online is going to be much smaller than, say, a global advertiser. So it's natural that your CPMs, your cost per thousand impressions, are going to be higher than usual. So if you're just looking at them in isolation, say on a marketing report, you might get alarmed that your CPMs are high when in fact, it's somewhat normal when marketing to a small local audience. Number two is competition. If you're looking at your CPMs and your cost per clicks on a marketing report, just isolated, you're not gonna know what's happening on the day to day with your ads. So as media buyers, we're in the platforms all day and we see what's happening on the front lines, right? There's things like um, Q4, right? Q4, a lot of advertisers are pumping a lot of money online. That raises the costs for everyone. Things like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the elections, new competitors in your market. All of these factors can lead to higher CPMs and higher click costs. That's just something you wouldn't see if you're just looking at a report. Number three is traffic quality. If you're just looking at your marketing reports, again, looking at those CPCs and CPMs, you don't have a lens into what that traffic actually looks like. You don't have a lens into the what the quality is, right? Us as media buyers on the front end, we're able to do things to bring that traffic quality up. A lot of the times that means paying more per click, paying more per thousand impressions. But at the end of the day, what matters is that the traffic converts, they become leads for your business and they become revenue for your business. So we're not after the lowest click costs. We're not after the lowest CPMs. We're after the highest quality traffic. And that's just something you can't see when looking at CPCs and CPMs on an isolated marketing report. Number four is conversion rates. So you might be paying more for a specific keyword on Google, let's say, but maybe it's converting at a lot higher rate than your other keywords. So looking at cost per clicks, click through rates and things at face value doesn't give you the full picture because as a business owner, if you know, if there's one keyword that's a little bit expensive, but it's driving the bulk of your leads and the bulk of your new jobs, you want to keep that keyword running. You don't want to pause it because it's got a high cost per click or it's costing you a little bit much every time, uh, you know, you're serving your ads on Facebook, say, right? So these are things that you can't look at in isolation. You need the full picture. That's why looking at metrics like CPC, CPM, CTR, all of those things, uh, you need to be looking at the whole picture. You can't just be looking at a report and making your decisions based off of what you see there. To recap, there are four reasons why looking at things like CPC, CPM, and CTR can be misleading if you don't have the full picture. Number one is small audience size. You may or may not have known this, but smaller audiences tend to have higher CPMs or a higher cost of advertising to them. Number two is competition. If you're not in the platforms every single day, seeing how those CPMs and those cost per clicks are fluctuating, you won't necessarily know that there's a new competitor in your market, that people are spending more heavily due to Q4 and the elections. These are all things that will drive up the costs for your marketing. Number three is traffic quality. So this is a big one. On both Google and Facebook and Instagram, a lot of the times you're gonna pay more for the higher quality traffic. Does that mean you should pause those higher cost keywords? Does that mean you should pause those ads that have higher CPMs and higher cost per clicks? Not necessarily. You have to look at the full picture. Maybe that traffic is converting at a much higher rate than your other ads with lower click costs and lower CPMs. So traffic quality is a huge one to pay attention to. The fourth reason is conversion rates. So you can have high cost per clicks on Google and Facebook. At first glance, you might want to pause those ads, pause those keywords, 
But at the end of the day, if you have a high conversion rate, it might still make sense to keep running those because your customer acquisition cost is gonna be a lot lower. So conversion rate is extremely, extremely important to factor in to this entire equation. So that wraps up the four reasons why looking at metrics like CPC, CPM, CTRs in isolation can be very, very misleading. Thanks for watching this Marketing Minutes episode. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell below to be notified for the next episode. See you soon. And that way you're gonna have people that are most likely to So ideally, no. So it doesn't necessarily matter what those click costs are if your, your traffic is converting. <laughs> Restart.